Let's make DIY magnesium mist or magnesium oil. It has been around for ages, but it's been gaining traction on the internet for a while now, and I wanna show you just how easy it is to make this stuff at home. You could spend upwards of $12 on two ounces of this. Meanwhile, we have 16 ounces here that we can fill up over and over and over again. And if you're like me, you accidentally buy a 15 pound bag of this stuff, and you're gonna have a lifetime supply. Hopefully we'll use this for baths and other things as well, but let's go. Let's make DIY magnesium mist. The first step is to boil some water. And while you don't have to boil water, it actually does make the dissolving a little easier. So two cups of water, and we are actually only going to use one today. It's a one to one ratio. But I put two in here because I know some will boil off and I just wanna make sure I have enough. Let's boil this. While that's starting to boil, I'm gonna take my 15 pound baby of magnesium flakes and we're gonna put one cup into a Pyrex. Easy enough. So right here, I have one cup of magnesium flakes. Then we're gonna put one cup of water in here and we're gonna let that dissolve. This is an important point, so stay with me. When you're going to buy your magnesium flakes, you want magnesium chloride flakes. That's the easiest for your skin to digest, so to say. So make sure you look for magnesium chloride flakes. I do have them linked below for you guys. She's boiling. Another important point to mention on this is that with the one to one ratio, it might be a little too much magnesium. When you spray it on your skin, it could stink. So if you find that to happen, boil a little bit more water and add it to maybe a two to one ratio, and then you'll find a little bit better success and a little less stinging. Now we're gonna take the water that just boiled and we're gonna pop it in all the way up until it gets to two cups and then we're gonna mix it. You can see in there just after about one minute of stirring, all of the flakes have dissolved. Now we have our magnesium spray ready to go. Now we just need to get it in the bottle. Now if you wanna add scents here, you can. You could do a few drops of an essential oil or a few more if you really like a scent geranium, lavender, things like that. But I like to keep it scentless. Doesn't really smell like anything, maybe just like a hint of that magnesium smell that you get, but it's up to you and you can add that as you're stirring it in. Now we're gonna bottle this stuff. And I like to use a handy dandy filter. So we're gonna pop that filter in there. And we're just gonna give it a little head wrap. So there you have it. 16 ounces of magnesium spray. And I bet as a family of four, that's gonna take a while to get through. And you know what the cost is for the bottle? Five bucks. That will last a long time, hopefully. And you know what the cost of the magnesium was? 58 cents for that one cup. So if you make it over and over again, your cost every time, you split the cost out by the bottle, but you'll be around 58 cents every time you make it. And then if you add an essential oil, that'll add a little cost as well. But it is very inexpensive to make in the long term, and it's really healthy for you. Let me tell you some of the benefits sleep health, reducing muscle spasms, reducing period cramps, boosting your magnesium levels overall, which goes into almost a hundred different things that your body does every day. It can help you reduce your stress, anxiety, and depression. In a big way, it supports your bone health. It regulates your blood pressure and it can help relieve headaches and migraines, which is incredible. So if you guys are interested in any of the products used today, where I got the magnesium, where I got the bottles, where I even got my Pyrex, you guys can check the links below and I would love it if you guys would subscribe so we can learn more about homesteading, DIY, and being a little bit more healthy. Have a great day.